Hello everyone. During this video, we will discuss what Windows DHCP logs are used for in Cortex XDR and configure an XDR collector to ingest the logs. Cortex XDR can ingest Windows DHCP logs to discover additional network devices, as well as provide additional context to alerts and EDR data with information like host name and MAC address of involved assets. DHCP logs can be collected either via an XDR collector or an elastic beat file agent. As a prerequisite, a Cortex XDR Pro per terabyte license is required to ingest Windows DHCP logs. The recommended collection method for Windows DHCP logs is with the XDR collector. Start by creating an install package by going to Settings, Configurations, then under XDR Collectors, click Installers, and click Create. Provide a package name and select a platform, in this case Windows, and choose a version. Usually the latest version is fine. Once your install package has been generated, right click on the install package and click download and select the correct architecture for your server. Next, we need to create the profile for the XDR collector file beat agent. Click add profile, select windows and select file beat and click next. Provide a profile name, for the file beat configuration file, please copy and paste the configuration file from the Cortex XDR collector documentation. Please note, there is currently an error in the configuration file presented in the documentation. Please use the configuration file in the notes below until such time as the documentation is corrected. Once you have pasted your configuration, click create to create your profile. Copy the installer package you generated onto the server where you want to install the DHCP log collector and walk through the wizard. Once the log collector has installed, go to XDR Collectors Administration and verify that your collector has shown up and is reporting as connected. Now we can go create our policy to assign the profile to the endpoint. Go to XDR Collectors and click Policy, then click Add Policy. Give the policy a name, and for platform, select Windows. Under the file beat dropdown, select the profile we just created and click Next. Next, you need to target your policy. You can either perform dynamic targeting by filtering for particular values for your collector, or you may statically assign collectors to the policy by clicking the checkbox beside the collector. Verify settings and click Done. Once you have finished, you will need to click Save to apply the policy. Once you apply the policy, please wait up to five minutes for the policy to be applied. Verify you are receiving logs by running the following XQL query. Dataset equals Microsoft underscore DHCP underscore raw and filter by your collector host name by using underscore collector underscore host name equals your collector host name. Run the query and verify logs are returned. Once DHCP logs are being ingested by Cortex XDR, these logs will automatically enrich network logs to provide additional device information. You will also see the asset inventory page updated to reflect this information on previously discovered hosts, as well as provide information for newly discovered hosts via DHCP logs. The logs can also be queried directly through XQL to enrich searches or to create correlation searches by referencing the Microsoft underscore DHCP underscore raw dataset. A few issues can occur when setting up a Cortex XDR collector. If logs are not returned, first go to Settings, Configurations, and click on Administration. Verify your collector is listed and shown as connected. If it is not shown as connected, please ensure the XDR collector service named XDR collector SVC, all one word, is running on the endpoint. For additional troubleshooting steps, please refer to the documentation below. In summary, we set up the Cortex XDR collector on our Windows DHCP server to collect DHCP logs. With these logs, Cortex XDR enriches other network logs and also updates the asset inventory table to provide additional information about devices and list newly discovered devices. 
We hope you found this video helpful. For additional information, please refer to the links and documentation provided below. Thanks and have a wonderful day.